Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, the color challenge is serving up Grixis. So, I built the first deck I could think of when I thought of Grixis, and that is Grixis Fires. Grixis Fires is a very fun little build. Um, it it really wants to be consistent. We are looking for consistency. We want to do the same things with the deck over and over and over. So when I build for consistency, I run a lot of four ofs, which is why this is a very straightforward list. And what I want to do is get to four mana, play Fires of Invention, drop a Sphinx of Foresight the same turn or do something else to affect the board, like a Granted or a Brazen Borrower. And then I want to, the following turn, cast Enter the God Eternals, So I, and I want to be able to plus it. I don't want to have to minus it to kill a creature. Uh, so, I, or, man, I said that backwards. What I want to do is drop Bolas and plus it, and then cast Enter the God Eternals, clean up their creature, make a body presence. So that's what's going on here. Uh, I'm running four of each because I always want to have them on turn five, and I believe in multiples. I really believe in multiples of both these cards. I think Enter the God Eternals is a very underrated card. Sure, it doesn't it doesn't get very good with Witches Oven around because you can't get the life, but it's still an excellent removal spell and a body in one card. And if you resolve it against the aggro decks like Gruel and a um, Mono Red, it is kind of the one way that this deck pulls through, whereas otherwise you get run over pretty handily by those decks. I'm not sure about Brazen Borrower. I'm really not. This could be um, a giant. This could be some other removal spell. It could be a bunch of things. I like the Borrower because it's never dead. I can use it to bounce a permanent in pretty much any matchup, and I can play the 3-1 Flash Flyer to apply pressure. There are times when this deck, if the opponent is trying to play a control game, especially with like Simic Flash against you, there are times when you just run out this Borrower, run out this Sphinx, and you have this flying armada coming at the opponent. They have to react to it, and that's when you get to do things like Nicole Bolas, the Dragon God. You kind of can be a beatdown game, even though it's a little clunky, but I think it's better than just um, having a removal spell. And that's been a theme throughout this format. Your removal spells, when they're just removal spells, are very mediocre at best. And instead, you're much better off with a removal spell that also does something, like an Enter the God Eternals or a Midnight, uh, a Murderous Rider, which is another card I thought about for this deck, but the life was often a bit too much to give. And I love that you can play Borrower on two and you have to play Rider on three and then play it on three again is very different. Uh, Shimmer of Possibility. So this does help with the redundancy and doing the same thing over and over. And sometimes you need to get the right land. I'm running 28 freaking land and I still have mana problems, missing land drops. It still happens. Even with a Sphinx of Foresight and two lands in my opener, I have missed my fourth land at least three times. Um, and, you know, Arena Shuffler. But maybe this is unnecessary. The other card I've been running in its place that I actually like a lot better from just kind of a fun standpoint, and let's be honest, we're doing this for competitive stuff, but we want to have fun too, is Narset, which gives the opponent fits if they can't interact with it. Just shutting down their ability to draw extra cards is so rude. And it can find it gives you two looks at fires. What I don't like about Narset is it misses Brazen Borrower, Fay of Wishes, and Sphinx of Foresight. So it miss it misses more often than you'd like. Missing the adventure creatures is a big pain. And it's another reason that you lean towards, well, should I play Tyrant Scorn? Should I play something else here? But for now, this is the deck that I'm going to run. Uh, the mana base is funky. It has Bacon, Interplanar Bacon, to gain some life. It has the Scrylands to do some scrying. It has Fabled Passage to get the mana lined up. You have two Castle Vantress. I don't want to run more than that. I can't afford that many tapped lands. I did play with this number a lot. But we want double blue on turn two. We want double blue, or no, we want double blue on turn three and four and potentially five, but we also want triple black on five and a single red somewhere along the way as these are the only red cards. Our sideboard's full of bullets, all kinds of fun. Elder Spell, one that I think a lot of people miss, Deliver Unto Evil. This is a very, very fun card that when you have a bolus on the battlefield, returns four cards from your graveyard to your hand. I think that's freaking awesome. Unmoored Ego, Kaya's Wrath, Covetous Urge, Tamiyo, Collector of Tales, Karn the Great Creator, Planar Cleansing, Liliana Dreadhorde General, Thought Distortion, Awakened Inferno, Two Casualties of War, and a Celebration. So, not many cheap cards, whereas the Adventure 
teamer deck had cheap cards like unsummon to try to stabilize the board this is all about fetching a haymaker and throwing it so we really want to be using granted when we have four mana or more going up to seven mana and just boom hit them hit them hard so that's the deck let's go play some games We have a Sphinx in two phase. This can be our red source. This hand is weird. In all of my times, I've never seen a hand like this. But on turn two, we can Fay of Wishes. On turn three, probably nothing. On turn four, if we find fires, we can play it. And on turn five, we can grant it or do something. Let's try it. Let's try it. Sphinxy. Hey yeah. No, it's mono red. Alright. Well we don't have a planeswalker for the bacon unless we keep the NAR set. Um hmm. I definitely don't think I need another one of you. We don't have the fires, but NAR set really looks for fires and bacon gains life and is an untapped land that we kind of need if we're going to use the passage to fetch red which i don't think we are so next turn we can play turn one grave turn two bacon turn three shock narset turn four fabled passage red mana fire sphinx all right is that fast enough it does put a one four on the field i like that we're offsetting some of our our pain land damage with the bacon Mm-hmm. Well, it's not a cavalcade. Uh, boulder rush. Okay. Well, that's good. It won't help the opponent get through the fey. We has one four. May it be enough. We might actually play one four next turn, too. Depending what the opponent does. Okay. That's bad. That's really bad. Yeah, I'm feeling tapped watery grave and another one four. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh. Hateful. I'll definitely take a spitter away. Blood crypt off the top. Well, we definitely want double blue. Am I going to fetch an island with this? I don't think so. What am I going to fetch? I don't think it matters, actually, though. If I fetch an island, it's okay. So I can play... But we want the red available. So yeah, we'll play the Blood Crypt tapped. Play second Fey of Wishes. Because we're going to prioritize our life total and make it hard for this war boss to attack. Next turn, we'll fetch an island with Fabled Passage and drop the Sphinx. All for toughness all the time. That's our plan. Here comes War Bossy Boss. We're going to double block the War Boss and get it dead. Go to seven. Shock your face? All right. Red Mage only does one thing, and that's go face. They already have lethal if they have a slaying fire in hand. This game is so stupid when it comes to mono red. Arg! Angry CGB face. All right, make them run their whole board into me to get one point through, and then we can maybe gain life off bacon and find more life gain. Ah, they're coming. Uh, actually here, like this, uh, down to three, lava coil, light up the stage, okay, lava coil doesn't go face, interesting inclusion, they might want to remove the sphinx before I get to scry if they're worried about that. It's 
Steamkin. Ooh, with two cards next turn. Another Sphinx. Not what I'm looking for. Looking for Enter the God Eternals. Paging Enter the God Eternals. We draw the fires. What's on the bottom? Just the Sphinx. So I'm thinking fires into Narset. Narset's gonna dig, but Narset couldn't cast anything else this turn anyway, and it gains a life. So here's fires. Here's Narset. Dig. Miss. Let's play this tapped and say go. Four enter the God Eternals. Come on now. All right. Well, the opponent will have to hard cast this light up the stage. That's most of their mana for the turn. Or they can fire off this lava coil. But I'm going to block either way. If that's their play, then they're done for the turn. So I get another crucial turn here. A Planeswalker gains a life. Enter the God Eternals, though, as the nuts. Let's scry for it. Boom. Boom. I have just the trick for this. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Narset. <gasps> All right. What could the opponent use their graveyard for? I can't think of anything in red. Up to eight. So I can return this to my hand and use it. So first, before we do that, let's attack. Activate Fae of Wishes, discard. We have six lands, not seven, so I'm not getting plane wide celebration yet. Granted. And what's the card? What is the card best to wreck our opponent with? Cameo can get back Enter the God Eternals. I think it's about that simple. And it's a Planeswalker. She's a Planeswalker. Scoops him up. That was a, that was a hot one. That one was close. All right, we go first. We have Narset into Fires into Bolas. Sounds perfect. Do we want to use a Passage when we can just save it for turn four? I'm not sure what else I would need it for. Maybe casting a Brazen Borrower, I could fetch another blue, but it needs to be another black to cast Bolas the hard way. Let's just hold it. We're not sure. We are not quite sure. Again? God, what is going on? Everybody just gave up on life and went back to mono red. We'll get this tapped land out of the way. But the next land is the bacon. At least we're on the play this time. Whoa, whoa, something's weird. Something different. We have Fervent Champion into Zyrtog Goblin and Gruul. Gruul is better than mono red. I'm saying it right now. Mono red is cheaper, so I get why it exists. Even if I make a lot of, like, jokes about it. But... Uh, Gruul is a lot better and a lot scarier. All right. We don't have a play for turn four, which means we're just playing fires and saying go. Um, could add up to a ton of damage. Basically, are sacrificing Narset, and that's okay. It's like she gained some life. So we need... If we draw a Brazen Borrower, that would be a very happy thing. We don't. To thin with Passage... I think we'll just hold off on that. All right, next turn, Bolas, enter the God Eternals. Take out their questing beast, take out something else. That's what we're looking for. Here we go. Draw me another enter? All right, this is fine. Hit this. Anything that Gruul can use in its graveyard? I don't think so. And this is definitely an Embercleave deck, having the Fervent Champion. Let's go straight to Bolas. And let's tick up the Bolas. The opponent might be able to kill it by using um, Domri's Ambush. Uh, Zyrtog Goblin kills the 4-4, attack the Bolas. If I minus, that play is off the table. 
There's also the chance of another questing beast, though. I like plussing. I like having more resources. It also takes resources away from the opponent. They exile a Paradise Druid. Plus, we have a follow-up bolus. We'll see if that comes back to bite me or not. I like to give him the squeeze, you might say. Put him in the bolus squeeze. The bolus triangulate meditation squeeze. Ooh. Alright, but it's still in Enter the God Eternal's range. That's important. And can't kill Bolas alone. So everybody's going after Bolas. That's sacrificing a creature. Ooh. They let Bolas live. Plain hero are we. Plain hero are we. Mm. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. Good night. <laughs> We're done here. Um, <laughs> what are we going to get? How best to punish? Let your weak mind crumble. Let your weak mind crumble. All right. What's the fetch? Casualties of War seems really good. Liliana just wipes their board. Although, we're just talking about a 1-1 one -one here. Thought Distortion crushes their hand. Chandra the Awakened Inferno can exile their dragon. So many good options. Let's exile the dragon and leave a planeswalker behind. I think that's the way. Plus we gain a life. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're about to. Glad I can help with your not being on fire problem. And next. And no attacks and end. And we have the scry for the Vantress up. And we are in the the beloved Grixis Fire's position. Exactly where we want to be. Ceratops. Okay. Somebody's hating on Simic Flash pretty hard. You'd think Gruul would have a good matchup with Flash anyway, but I don't know. I haven't played it. How's the Gruul's... How's the Gruul versus Simic matchup? Anyway. Let's eat this goblin. Opponent throws it away to kill the Bolas, but we have another for the maximum frustration. Narset. Just keep more spells. Just keep all the spells. All right. Nowhere to go but up. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? Other bolus. Um, we can emblem, but I really like the plus of bolus. I'm not in a rush to ultimate the bolus. We'll get a plain wide celebration if we need to. And look at that, more bolus. By the way, I uh, screwed up. Didn't play the bacon first. Missed a point of life. Don't be like me. Be better. So we could play the Fey and have the Planar Cleansing combo next turn. So let's just do that. Did I say Planar Cleansing? I meant Plain Wide Celebration. What is wrong with me today? That's at least my third misspoke that I can remember. It's all getting to me. It's all getting to me. We're on like 10 months of uploading a video every day. The madness is creeping in. Mm. Speaking of madness creeping in. Embereth Paladin, haste for one, adamant if at least three red mana was spent. Plus one, plus one counter. Haste, tribal over here. Hype. Makes for, makes for good ember cleaves, I guess. All right. So we've got blocks. We can go here and we can go here. If our opponent has some trick like a barge in, we're going to be sad. I'll take my chances. Discard the passage. Discard one of our Narsets. Return Fey of Wishes to my hand. Opponent can give Trample to the Ceratops to do one to the Bolas. They're just going to pack it in. So next turn we cast Granted, get Plain Wide Celebration, proliferate four times, grow the Nicole Bolas to where we can ultimate it, and without a legendary creature, our opponent would lose the game. We'll keep it. 
everybody's on aggro, and when everybody's on aggro, these these hands on the draw just there's almost nothing that could win except for Brazen Borrower. Well, I mean, with the hand as it is, if we keep this, we have one through five, like we have all five land drops, Fires of Invention into Sphinx, and then Bolus into Bolus. But one Bolus to remove something, one Bolus to plus. That's really good. I'll put the extra Bolus down here, but man, it looks like we're just going for it. So I'd love to save the scry land for land number five to get a new scry, because right now we don't need this scry. It means I'm paying two life next turn. Against Sacred Foundry, I think I'm against fires, and I think that's okay. All right, looks like they're playing the Planeswalker version of Fires of Invention. Makes Thought Erasure very good. They have a Teferi, a Fires, an Ugin, and a Fey. And no blue source, but they can play the Teferi next turn. Um, I think it, this is pretty easy that we take the Fires of Invention and we'll keep our Dragon God, because spamming those seems like a good way to wreck our opponent. Here's to Furs. The hero, unquote, of Dolmenoria. And immediately drawing a card. All right, trying really hard to hit that fires. So this turn, we could avoid paying two life. Um, I guess we can do that no matter what. Let's go ahead and get a scry. Yeah, we'll take another thought erasure. Could be good. Let's see, did the opponent find another fires of invention off the top of their library? We know about their, we can't, uh, we can take anything with Thought Erasure, it's not Duress. So we know about their Fey of Wishes, but still no Blue Source. And we know about Ugin. In the tank. Did they find fires? Maybe they're already planning to play land, play fires, and play granted, and they're already thinking of what they're going to fetch first, planning their whole turn in advance. Let's see. The rope is here. Ooh, it's not fires. It's not anything. Now I'm confused. Do you think they run counter magic? We'll find out after these messages. Let's go get another black in case our fires doesn't resolve so that we can play Bolas. Resolves. We could go for Sphinx or we could Thought Erase them again. There could be a Sarkhan on the way. Sarkhan would be a big problem. But if the opponent plays Sarkin and minuses, and we they don't deal with our Sphinx, then we can play a Bolas, blow up the dragon, and attack the Sarkin, which is good. So let, I like Sphinx here. I like putting pressure on the board. I like challenging the opponent, especially since they're Teferi minus early. If the Teferi could minus to bounce the Sphinx, it would be a much worse play. All right, they've got a Prison Realm. Raisin Borrower can bounce Prison Realm at some point and get our Sphinx back, which could surprise the opponent. Enter the God Eternals. It's not very good here. Let's get in their hand with Thought Erasure. And we see that they still have Ugin, which I think is the take. A Realm Cloak Giant, that doesn't matter. And a Fey of Wishes that's very expensive. And we'll keep our Fey of Wishes on top. Absolutely. We can play this tapped because we're not paying mana for our spells. We can play Bolas. Bolas could blow up to Fairy, but I'm not worried about that. I'm going to plus instead. I don't plan to play things on my opponent's turn at instant speed anyway. And I need targets for my Elder spell. <laughs> yep, the Realm Cloak Giant hits the bench. Three Interplanar Beacons. Bounce the fires. They throw away their Teferi to bounce the fires. Okay. And you have your own. Nice draw. What's it looking like? And another Teferi. Okay. What's it do? Just draws another card. So our opponent is set up next turn to use Granted and get to deploy something with it. We have a granted this turn, and I think that the choice is pretty easy. I think we're going with casualties of war. 
Before we do that, let's plus Nicole Bolas. Make the opponent make their choices. Oh, we can't, because the fires is in our hand. We are actually in a little bit of a bind then. Hmm. Hmm. I can't tutor for something like a thought erasure. I don't have anything that cheap. In the sideboard, what do I have? Elder spell is that cheap. I could set this up on eight, but then the opponent tutors for casualties and casts it. So we don't really want to replay the fires of invention. I don't think. I think we just want to play granted and then possibly replay the, the fey. So what are we getting? It would be nice to grab, ooh, Covetous Urge is pretty interesting. I can't play Ego, I'm one mana off of Ego. Urge might get whatever's left in their hand. Maybe I'm not supposed to recast it if the opponent's going to play Casualties of War. We'll see how much they punish me. This might be a bad idea. What's it gonna be? Here comes Granted. The opponent looks in their sideboard and finds... They're poking around my graveyard. They have a command, the Dreadhorde? What a mess that would make. I don't think it's much, actually. But we'll have to keep it in mind when using um, Enter the God Eternals. It can get them Ugin. Good one. Thought Distortion. Exile my hand. That's a very appropriate sound in this spot. Okay, well, I can bounce both of these and grant it again. Let's start with the Ebolas Plus. Raisin Borrower. Interesting. Making the opponent recast fires here is probably pretty good. Ooh, they give me back. So they're planning a Wrath. My intellect is without limit. Are they now? What do they have in their hand that makes them plan with that? Or maybe they just don't care enough. I don't know. Seems like they're planning a planar cleansing now, though. They must have another Fey of Wishes, right? So I could bounce this back to my hand, cast it, um, try to get Ego, and then play that next turn, but I don't think that's too good. We can't play Instance on our opponent's turn, so let's go Petty Theft, your Fires of Invention. Make you replay that. I do think the opponent has a Wrath here, or else they wouldn't give me back my Sphinx. And if I commit the two blue, I won't be able to bounce my Fey of Wishes. And if I play the lands, I won't be able to bounce my Fey of Wishes. So I don't play the Borrower here. Scryland. Look at the top. One to the bottom. All right. Plus the Tefers. I've got it. Play Fires. Still one more spell to go. Play Fey. Interesting. If I bounce this now, I could go get Unward Ego and then take away the Fey of Wishes, but the opponent can't bounce their Fey of Wishes right now. What am I going to have? Okay, I have seven lands. Elder Spell wins the game, right? I think it does. Yep. All right. And we have to do this now. Because we need the mana next turn. It's fine. Need to make sure that we leave double black available. And without a legendary permanent, a minus eight Nicole Bolas is game ending. Hmm. 
This is awkward because we can't thought erasure until turn three, but we are on the play with a fires, so I don't think I can give it up. And we might draw the perfect land, it could happen. So I think what we'll do is open with temple and try to scry to an untapped black source. Did it! You're the best at magic. Tapping those cards and casting spells. Oh yeah, let's get in that hand. Well, well, well. Hmm. The fairy's a little bit annoying, but not that bad. Planar Cleansing and Command the Dread Horde are both really good. But I think I can play around Command. And I think I can make my opponent show me they can find the mana for Cleansing. So I'll take the Teferi, it's their only early play. And even though I just was looking for a Black Source, I'm going to bin this and be greedy. I need to find some Planeswalkers. Narset would be really clutch against this player. The Borrower isn't particularly great. Hmm, holding up mana like it's a Dovin's Veto. I don't believe you, though. But we could play around it and just play Brazen Borrower, flash it in. And then do Fire's Thought Erasure next turn, since we're kind of lacking here. This is for the Elite Guard Mage, I suppose. Yeah, let's just play around it. Let's respect that the opponent shocked themselves for a reason. All right, there's something holding priority. They've got some spell. Maybe a Tyrant Scorn makes sense. Let's send the Borrower and see if they react. All right, with that said, let's use the Passage and go get a Black Source. So we only need one more Black off the top to cast Bolus if Fires doesn't manage to resolve. And let's see what happens. Yes. Erase you. We need a land to play Bolas and God Eternals next turn, so that's what we're looking for. The only thing I'd keep instead, I think, is Narset. Although, if they have wishes for Unmoored Ego would be nice. It is a Tyrant Scorn. So I don't want to take away their Guard Mage. And I still think I can play around Command the Dread Horde. So I'm going to take Planar Cleansing. And I'm going to bin this Borrower? Feels a little bad. <clears throat> but we definitely need the land next turn. So now with command, the opponent does have two borrowers and a Teferi to get. Their command isn't terrible. But if we get a land off the top here, I feel like Nicole Bolas's plus can kind of drown them out. Oh, nice top deck. Right on time. Oh, that makes command so much better, too. All right. Our top deck. Ugh. Ugh. And the opponent kept. It must be pretty good. We're going to get blown out now. That, that thought erasure, that was the perfect timing. The absolute perfect timing. And in hindsight, I would let the opponent have this, Teferi. Absolutely. I would let them have it. Also, by the way, using the um, mill side of Enter the God Eternals is pretty bad. Facing Command the Dread Horde. Okay, we draw on our side. Let's go. Let's find a Thought Erasure. Found a Bolus. Let's play it. Let's plus it. If I minus here, I could try to find the Thought Erasure, but I can't cast it now because I already used Fires. So let's try to constrict our opponent's resources and hope they don't have the untapped land for the command. Teferi, out of there. Alright, is their last card a land? That's all that matters now. Ugh, not like this. Should have taken this a long time ago. I misplayed this game pretty bad. I had a plan and it got messed up by a thought erasure. I should have thought about that. What life is the opponent going to be left at though after this? Five! All right, now what happens? They did take a borrower. 
They can bounce the fires, but they can't draw, so they plus. They attack the Narset, so I can't minus it. All right, this is big. That was terrible. All right, let's put the Brazen Borrower back in the graveyard. Um, let's mill ourselves. You can see opponent might have more graveyard synergy than I do. Narset's gonna die. This is not good. Yeah. We kind of want the opponent to crack and use Teferi first, but it looks like they're going to go after the Narset first, which they should. Now they get to draw a card. Ugh. We really need Granted there. All right, I'll give myself one more draw step. Get out of this. <sighs> Not good. Not good. This game is definitely on me. I take full responsibility for my disaster. Off the top bit is not good enough for me. Ugh, it hurts. I hope that you enjoy today's color challenge with Grixis Fires. Today's thank you goes out to Brainfly, who for no cost whatsoever, completely voluntary, redid the intro and outro. Whatever you think of it, be nice. I don't want to ban people from making comments. There's no reason to be rude if you're not particularly enjoying it. And also, it's it's. I decide it's time for a change. It's good for the comment algorithm, if nothing else. But remember, somebody volunteered their time uh, because they really liked the channel and wanted something a little more uh, with, I, I don't know, they had a vision and I thought it was pretty cool. They sent it to me without even asking me and I was like, oh, dude, this is actually nice. So we're gonna do it and get over it. If you have to be mean about something like this, you're not actually being a very nice person. You should probably think about that. Meditate. Take some tranquilizers. I don't know. Don't, no, don't take tranquilizers. What, what is this CGB advice? Anyway, thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.